Well, 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 well. I missed you, old friend. Definitely going to be drowning my sorrows in this stuff tonight. Or maybe not. Make sure to stay to the end of the video. Greetings, fellow Vita fans. This is James with PS Vita at 2 a.m. Coming at you with this time a non-exciting video. Wow, that's never happened before. Hey, I'm always legally required to say it. And if you're new here, blah, 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 blah. Well, I guess we knew that that fantastic, positive PS Vita news that we've been having a string of lately couldn't last forever. Who jinxed us? Who did that? Was it you? Yeah, I think it was you, so. And we once again find ourselves in the gutter. Wouldn't be the first time for me though. But yeah, it looks like the PS Vita is having issues again. Special thanks to Joseph Shavak for providing me with the following article, which comes from PushSquare.com. Oh, Push Square, you always used to provide me with such positive news, except for when you didn't. Now keep in mind that when it comes to updates such as this, it could be region dependent. In other words, depending on where your region is, you may be suffering these problems or not. But the way things have been reported as of late, it seems like everybody is suffering from this. But I still gotta give that disclaimer. I have a butt to protect. But let's continue with ripping our hearts out. This is what Push Square said. And other websites had actually bothered giving a darn about the PS Vita. Widespread PS3 and PS Vita issues preventing fans from downloading games. Wow, is it 2021 again? Or 2019? Or 2018 for that matter? Well, at least we have company with us this time. Even though it's the same company we've been having as of late. Oh, and they went on to say that it only does nothing. Touche article. Touche. Sony's legacy systems, the PlayStation 3 and PS Vita, are throwing a wobbly, it seems. There are widespread reports right around the globe of purchased games not downloading properly from the PS Store. It's unclear what the expected cause is. The PlayStation 3 received a firmware update recently, which could potentially be related, but that wouldn't explain the problems with its handheld counterpart. Though I'd argue that that's never stopped them from having issues with the PS Vita either way. And since we know that Sony threw out most of their QA dev kits, it seems like we probably won't be getting another firmware update. But then again, you never know, they might have hang on to a few of those things. Or perhaps they simply just care about the PS3 more these days, which isn't saying much. The error messages, which explains either an error occurred during the install operation, or just an error occurred, can purposely be overcome if you have the patience to try triggering the downloads enough times. Because that's normal. But obviously this isn't ideal. Well, when you're a PS Vita fan, it is unfortunately. It should be noted that while the Japanese giant has promised to keep the PS3 and PS Vita's digital store online, they're held together with cello tape these days. Heck, I'd even go as far to say scotch tape. Now there's a metaphor for you. These may just be the trials and tribulations that come with trying to use hardware over a decade old. We'd like to hope Sony will issue some fixes and tack things together as best as it possibly can, but clearly it's never going to be at the top of its priority list. Are you having issues downloading software to your PS3 or PS Vita? This website would like to know. And they're stealing my phrase that every other YouTuber on YouTube says. And it was pretty interesting reading the comment section for said article, because many people were thinking that, hey, wouldn't it be awesome if Sony was to put the PS3 store and PS Vita store on the actual PS5? But I don't think that would really solve anything considering that it's not compatible with said system, and I highly doubt that Sony wants to make it so. It's a nice thought, but unfortunately not very feasible. And of course, the most obvious conclusion that a lot of people are coming to is, well, what this following user had to say. And that's hackery. I think this is it. We're very near to the definitive end of the PS3 and Vita. If this isn't resolved, I'm just gonna soft mod both my consoles as there's way too many games stuck on those platforms. And yeah, I really can't blame people for feeling that way at this point. So after all that, I decided to go to Twitter to see if I could dig up any more information about all these uh, problems that the Vita has been having as of late and the PS3 too, I guess. And according to what some other users have been implying here, it seems like there's some kind of trouble slash issue with the party chat feature as well on the Vita. Wow, color me shocked, right? As in I'm not. As well as others saying that they're having trouble syncing some of their trophies on their Vitas too. Now for me personally, I haven't run into any of these issues, but have any of you run into 
any of these issues, please let me know down below. Because I am very curious at this point to see just how widespread this issue has become. And also need engagement for the algorithm's sake. Now on that note, I will say one thing about this whole sticky situation that we're in. It's not exactly new to the Vita community. If the humor in this video hasn't emphasized that fact enough. We have always had issues with downloading games, syncing trophies, and heck, we're not even allowed to send messages to our friends on our Vitas anymore, so we've been stripped away of a lot of things, whether it be intentional or not. We've been sent to bed without supper, you might say, for the past, like, you know, five plus years. In fact, sometimes I kind of wonder if most of it is intentional, but they're just trying to pretend it isn't. However, I guess at this point, considering that we're having multiple news articles and websites talking about this situation, I suppose we can all assume it's become a lot more widespread than, uh, usual? Okay, so now that we got all of that negative news aspect out of the way, there is a silver lining to this whole situation because as you probably no doubt have noticed from the video title, I added a but. And a big old but at that. Mostly because I just wanted to say the word but. However, I went to Reddit, I know, I know, not long after putting this video together and I found out that some users are reporting that the downloads are working once again. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is in all regions as I mentioned earlier in this video. However, it looks like Sony might be slowly restoring things. At least that's what I hope. So I guess at this point, we just gotta do the same thing that we've been doing for the past years whenever it comes to problems with the Vita. We just gotta wait and see what happens. Story of our life. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go drown my sorrows in some root beer. Or uh, not drown my sorrows if things actually were fixed. But while I'm doing that, and getting very drunk on it, which I don't know how it's even possible to do that considering it's, well, you know, root beer, but I'll find a way. I would love to hear from you now. Have you been having these issues on your Vita? How many times do you have to keep retrying to download a game in order for the game to actually, uh, download? Was the download truly fixed on your end? And how is the party chat and trophy sync feature working for you? Any issues with that? I'm assuming there were issues with that. Please let me know down in the comments section below. That's my phrase, push square article. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous Patreon and YouTube membership supporters who help make this content possible. So a huge thank you goes out to Hero Acer, BMF, Phantom XRS, Gutter Drums, Adam Sondi, Claymer Malarkey, Saul Ramirez, Hemdall Imbert, PS Vita S, VG Legends, Kyle Brooks, Richard Cruz, Jared Hado, JR, Joseph Shavak, Kevin Enright, Patnos D, Jale, Heston Joseph, Thomas Cromet, H Hitter, Crazy Cat, Adam Thurry, Wendy K, Michael O'Connor, Rodrigo Vera, Sculpture Tugel TCG, David Ray, Buzz Sayin, Hector Gonzalez, Franz Hartle, Chris Foxhound, Razelle Pliskin, Kayonko, Aridri, Jimmy Gilby, 1488 Dental, That Bro, No Good, Azumara, Juan M. Hermosillo, Lacerated 87, Nintendo Switch at 2 a.m., Eric DeWitt, Neo Arashi, Donut Valley, Tasha Monti, Milk Sama, Bushin Ryu Cat, Ricardo Martinez, Mazgus, PSP Guru, Matt Fox, Cham Plow, Sabin Fire, Jamie, Reiko Star, Worthorga, Randy Azudech, Meshuga360, Zacredo, Samai241, Alan Iwazuk, Airkick72, and Shin Snake. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and gaining access to a number of perks, including having your name featured on the end credits of these videos, or if you wish to remain anonymous that can be provided too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have numerous ways for you to do this down there. Can't support in this manner? Don't worry about it. I also have some affiliate links from both Amazon and PlayAsia for anyone who is interested in purchasing something from them. Basically, the way it works is so long as you use one of those links to just access their website, then anything you purchase Afterwards, a small commission will go to help support this content at no extra cost to you, the consumer. I also have channel merchandise available, and of course, as always, likes and shares can help equally as much. You know, considering that this was a video pertaining to yet another issue with the PS Vita officially speaking, I didn't really bash Sony that much this time. In fact, I think I was a little bit more fair with them than usual. Wow, I must be losing my touch.